Welcome once again to the Daily Message. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul. As you know, the uh, conversion of St. Paul is depicted often as you see it in the picture on your screen, where Paul was uh, on a horse, although there is no horse mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles. He is struck down. He hears a voice from heaven saying, uh, Saul, why do you persecute me? And he is uh, stricken with blindness. But I want to invite you to consider the conversion of Paul in a somewhat different way today. Typically, the conversion of Paul is talked about as though he went from being a Jew to being a Christian, or from a persecutor of Christians to a lover and a supporter and a Christian missionary. But there's another way of looking at the conversion of Paul. Rather than a change from uh, Christian, from Jew to Christian, he had a new awareness of his calling in life, that Jesus is his way to God and the way to God. And this is what uh, changed his life and made him one of the greatest Christian missionaries ever. We are believers in Jesus. And because of that, we, like Paul, should always be open to a deeper awareness of what it means to be a follower, of what it means to be a disciple, a believer in Jesus. And no matter what our age or stage in life, we are always called upon to be willing to change our response to Jesus based on what we know, based on what we learn. Sometimes that call to change can be sudden, as it was for Paul. Other times it is more gradual. But whatever it might be, we're called upon always to be ready, to be open to change, open to a new meaning of our Christian vocation. Thank you so much for watching today.